An arraignment is a court hearing in which the defendant in a criminal case enters a plea. The arraignment is the first court date after the prosecution has filed the formal criminal charges against the defendant or the grand jury returned a true bill indicting the defendant. The arraignment date may have been written on the summons received by the defendant. If the defendant has not received the date on the summons, the date will be served on him at the address on the summons or the address on the bond sheet. It's important to always keep your bondsman informed of your address changes. Also, notify the clerk of court if your address changes or is different than that on the bond sheet. At the arraignment, the court will inform the defendant of the charges against him and ask the defendant to enter a plea. The defendant must then plead not guilty, guilty, or not guilty by reason of insanity. The defendant should have an attorney at this time. Other court dates will be assigned after the defendant is arraigned. So let's do an example. Let's say John Smith was arrested for DWI, and when he bonded out of jail, the jailer gave him a notice to appear in court on January 1st. That court appearance is the arraignment. Before that arraignment happens, the prosecutor will examine the police reports and evidence to determine the formal charge he will file against John Smith if he decides he can prove DWI. He will file a bill of information charging John with DWI. At the arraignment, there will likely be a long list of other defendants needing to be arraigned. John will wait in the audience until his name is called. Once the court calls John Smith's name, he'll walk to the front of the courtroom, and there'll usually be a podium there, and John will be there with his attorney, and the attorney will enroll his counsel and enter a plea of not guilty on behalf of John Smith. If John failed to bring a lawyer, then the judge will probably tell him to come back with his attorney. Arraignment for a felony is similar to arraignment for a misdemeanor. The judge will inform the defendant of the criminal charges against him. If the judge or prosecutor reads the bill of information or indictment aloud, that is called formal arraignment. Usually the defense attorney will waive formal arraignment and enter a plea of not guilty. In misdemeanor cases, there is no right to a formal arraignment, yet it's done in most jurisdictions. After the defendant pleads not guilty at an arraignment in court for a felony, the judge will give a new court date for the defendant to appear again. The next hearing is dependent on the jurisdiction and that particular judge. Different judges have different procedures following the arraignment for felony. For instance, the judge may set the matter for pretrial conference or pretrial conference and trial. The judge could set the matter for motions hearing, status, for further proceedings, guilty plea cutoff. If the defendant is not present with a lawyer, the judge may reschedule the matter for the arraignment again to give the defendant time to hire an attorney. The process is similar at the arraignment for a misdemeanor. The judge or prosecutor may inform the defendant of the formal charges against him and will ask him how he pleads. The defendant will usually enter a not guilty plea. The difference is what happens after the misdemeanor arraignment. The judge will likely set the matter for trial. There will not be all the other court dates in between, such as when there's a felony. Many times we go to court for our clients and do the arraignment without their presence. This is only for misdemeanor arraignments. This is a huge benefit to our clients because it saves them time and money traveling and having to miss work or school. Regardless of whether the case is a misdemeanor or felony, what happens after the arraignment hearing is similar. The defense attorney will file a motion for discovery so that the judge will order the prosecutor to turn over anything it plans on using at trial against the defendant. This may include reports, videos, witness statements, blood tests, forensic evidence, etc. Then a defense lawyer can examine the case to determine what is best for the defendant. The defendant will have the option of going to trial or taking a plea deal. The route the defendant goes is based on the deal the attorney is able to get and the provable facts of the case. The defense attorney will use the time after the arraignment to negotiate with the prosecutor and figure out how to resolve the case in the defendant's best interest. The arraignment only takes a minute. However, you can wait all day until your name is called. 
Most judges will allow private counsel to call up their clients at the beginning of court. That drastically reduces your wait time. The defendants who use public defender instead of hiring a lawyer may have to wait all day. If you have a criminal defense attorney present with you, it's likely you won't have to say anything at the arraignment. Some jurisdictions will want you to introduce yourself on the record so they know who you are and have a correct address for you. Therefore, you might say your name, date of birth, and address. But some judges don't want to hear all that. They just want to hear your name or just have the lawyer do all the talking. After that, most defendants will say not guilty or the lawyer will save it for them. Generally, you do not want to plead guilty at the arraignment. There are some tactical reasons to plead guilty at the arraignment. It does happen sometimes, but that's between you and your lawyer. The arraignment is not the hearing to argue your case and get into the facts. The judge will shut you down in a heartbeat. Most times, it is not the time to resolve the case either. The arraignment hearing is strictly procedural. It is important that you are present in court on time and be courteous. If you act like you're too good to be there or have any other attitude that the judge picks up on, he will have you remanded and give you up to 90 days in jail for contempt of court. It's important that when you show up to court, you're dressed appropriately. And this basically means business casual, such as pants and a shirt tucked in or a conservative dress without the shoulder showing for women. Many judges will throw a fit if the female defendant is dressed too sexy or if the male defendant doesn't have his shirt tucked in. Also, never wear a hat in the courtroom and have your phone turned off. You will need a lawyer for your arraignment. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, the judge may appoint the public defender to represent you only if he determines that you are too indigent to hire an attorney. We are criminal defense attorneys dedicated to criminal defense in all parts of Louisiana. We have defended hundreds of clients charged with criminal cases. We know all the ins and outs of providing effective representation for a criminal charge. Our criminal defense attorneys have a combined over 100 years of criminal defense experience. If you need a criminal defense attorney for your arraignment, give us a call. We'll be happy to help.